Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome to Below, a game that several of you have asked if I was going to play, and finally I get a chance to sit down and check this game out. A little bit about this game, and when I say a little, I do mean a little, because frankly, I don't know very much about it. This game is full of procedural generation, so nothing is going to be the same two playthroughs in a row. It's all about this large, interconnected underworld that is full of dangers and traps and deadly enemies and apparently this shadowy presence that just tends to follow you around it does have permadeath so it does have these roguelike elements and something that frankly i have been a fan of for quite some time there's also no hints one of the draws to this game is that it's all about players exploring and discovering for themselves there's no hand holding in fact there's no one there to hold your hand it's just you and this underground labyrinth. It's a game by Capybara Games. This game was in development for at least the last five years. And it really went dark several times with no news coming out whatsoever. And frankly, no news to me could be good news because I don't know what I'm about to get myself into. And we're going to jump in right now. So this is Below. Let's find out what it's all about. Oh, I am getting some very strong 80s vibes from this music. Very retro, very synth. Actually reminds me a little bit of, of Hyper Light Drifter, just from the music, not necessarily the game itself. Frankly, I don't know what's, what's in this game, so I can't compare it to anything just yet. It seems like I have this large expanse of water with these dark, ominous clouds rolling in. I do have control of my cursor. I can't... I can't move it all yet. I, I'm wondering if that's supposed to be me right there? I still have no control. I'm trying to move just to maybe advance this, but maybe I really am just meant to wait this out. Is that me? Is that just a landmark? I keep trying the keyboard just to make sure, although it looks... Definitely looks like something's happening. Maybe this is a sunrise? Hard to tell if this is actually coming up out of the water or if it's just becoming more in focus. With this opening, I both wanted to end so I can get into the game, but also I find myself very strangely focused in on it.
trying desperately to make out what I'm looking at. Oh, it's a boat. Here I was thinking this was some sort of pillar. But no, this is a small sailboat, and these are the ripples. This is the wake behind it. I probably could have figured that out quite some time ago. So I have to assume that I am the one on this boat. Possibly piloting this craft by myself. Heading... Well, I have no idea where I'm heading to. I don't know where I'm coming from or... Or why. So far, I don't find this game to be overly difficult. Rate the difficulty somewhere on the lower end of the spectrum. Finally about to get beached and there I am oh there I am and I finally have control oh I love how tiny I am compared to the map okay let's play around with controls a little bit I mean there is nothing on the screen there's no HUD no life bar no stamina nothing so I can look around with the mouse I'm moving with my keyboard I don't know if this is controller compatible when I was looking at screenshots just based on the top-down perspective, it seems like it was more of a mouse and keyboard game anyway. If I hold shift, I can definitely sprint. I kind of like looking with the mouse because it means I can strafe, which I think is cool. Okay, so a little dash with the space bar. Oh, here's some stairs here. Do I want to go up the stairs or explore? No, let's, ex let's explore just very, very briefly. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, so I can cut the grass, and it, there's something here. What do I... Right, so I just hit E to pick that up. What What that is, though, I don't know. And again, this game is all about discovering, which means I'm not going to be able to find a tutorial to tell me how to open my inventory. Let's try some of the common keys, like I. Aha, there we go. So I is inventory... I have some things unlocked. So there actually is a hunger meter, it looks like, a cold meter, and maybe a thirst meter. There's my overall health, I have to assume. There's water. This is what I just picked up, a shard. So I just picked up a shard. I do have one torch, four arrows. This hammer leads me to believe there's definitely some sort of crafting mechanic, and considering it does say E is for craft. So keep that in mind. What else? My weapon, so I do have a bow. A lantern. I don't know if this is maybe fuel. Could be. All right, very minimalistic. I have hotkeys, one and two. Three is arrow. Four is possibly the shard that I just found. Oop. Let's hit I again. So I do have this sword and shield, but that's actually not even showing up in my inventory either. Let's run around. Are these just, I'm assuming these are fireflies. I have a, maybe a, ooh, a cooking station. Ah, all right, great. So this is this will help keep me a little bit warm. And maybe a carrot. I could get on board with that. Aha, another one. So things aren't just readily visible. You do have to hunt them down. So I'm just chopping down this grass with my sword. Ooh, got a nice little dash attack there. I like that. So if I use this again, can I sit down and maybe cook? 25. 25 what? <laughs> to do what? I don't know. Oh, these are turnips, okay? Nothing I can do there. Oh, uh-oh. I just crafted with the water. Nothing I can do with the turnips. I can 
put that into the crafting menu. Okay, so I have three slots for crafting, is what it looks like. Question mark there. But it doesn't appear that there's anything there. Alright, so let's just exit. We'll have to still do some running around. There's fish over here in this pond. But I possibly need a fishing pole. Oh, there's something though. What did I just pick up? That was a fillet. Right. Now, is that because I killed the fish, or is it just because it was already there? I don't seem to have a jump, at least not that I can tell. Although, I am going to take a look. There are controls. So I don't think this is cheating. Let's take a look at controls. The dash, attack, there's a charge attack, shield bash and guard, weapon swap. Lantern is F. Quick slot use, cycle arrow types, a lot of different arrows. Plant, jam, or sit down is four. Interesting, and that's, that's frankly about it. Not, not a whole lot, so. That is my lantern, but I guess I'm out of fuel, which is what that symbol was indicating. And I don't actually have that charge that he was talking about. All right, a little bit more grass to explore. And then maybe I'll hop up those stairs. Very intriguing little game. This is something that you definitely don't sit down and master in a sitting. No, no, no. I imagine this is going to take time and time again for you to learn all the intricacies. Ah, I can climb. Okay, do I want to climb? I'll tell you what, I want to explore those stairs first. I also want to see if there's anything else hiding in this grass. Okay, let's check out these stairs. Carefully. I don't even know if I can fall off or if there's fall damage. And a game that is proud of its permadeath system, you have to understand that they want you to die. It is part of the learning experience, which I, ooh, which I am okay with. This may be, uh, I don't know. There, I don't seem to have a jump. <sighs> Okay, there must be an item that I'll get eventually, maybe a hook shot or something. Well, I guess climbing is going to be the name of the game, or there may have been another section kind of around the beach. Maybe we'll stay on the beach for the time being. My little adventure, see what we can do. Or, or not, because it seems like we have run out of beachfront already. So we picked up a shard, we picked up some turnips, and a fillet and that's that's about all the game <laughs> that's about all the game is thrown our way right and all i can do is hope that there is no stamina bar and this isn't zelda this isn't breath of the wild where i have to worry about actually losing my grip and falling without a bar that would be nearly impossible but again any game that Pride itself on permadeath isn't exactly looking to make friends. That's a lot of grass. I don't want to cut all this down. But I can, can't I? I sure can. Oh, heavens. So we have this stone, this cobblestone path here. Probably a good idea to stay on the path for now. And we will. We'll head left here. Like some old, maybe, fence posts. What's over here? A little bit darker of an area. Anything hiding? I, there could be anything hiding under this grass anywhere. And I imagine there probably is. I really like the physics though, and I like the, the impact that you have running through this grass. Nice fresh grass here. And do these stairs just go down to where I was trying to get earlier? It does. Okay. Nothing is jumping out at me right away. Now, the game did talk about the underground labyrinth, so it's almost as if I'm trying to find an entrance to that underground. But it's very possible that in order to survive under there, I do need to collect some resources on the surface. This looks very, very peculiar. This almost perfect circle of rocks. Nothing's being highlighted, though. 
It did mention something about placing a gem. What if I... Number four is not doing anything. Maybe it's because I don't have a complete gem. I only picked up a shard. That could be. But maybe keep an eye out for those circles. Okay. That looks like an entrance. That looks like an entrance. Let's see what happens. And it's locked. Right. Of course it is. Wouldn't want anything to be too easy now, would you, Blue? Ooh. Maybe I don't want to go in there anyway. Look at the size of this obelisk. Obelisk tower. At some point, an obelisk just becomes a tower based on the size alone. Speaking of alone, though, there is a very real sense of loneliness in this game. And I think it's not just the fact that you really and truly are alone, but just the toned down colors, the muted colors, the darkness, the rain. All right, another question mark here. Nothing I can do. It looks like there's some sort of lift. Maybe that's a shortcut out of the labyrinth. But it's possible I need a key. Okay, well, this looks this looks promising. Is this one of those gems I've heard about? Hey, I got an achievement, Guiding Light. So that was clearly... My lantern. The question is... Oh. Wait a second. Is there a light on the ground that I can follow? Oh. Look at that. So there are these connecting beams along the ground. And if I turn off my lantern, they're invisible. I do have to concern myself with the fuel, though, because I don't know if I have to continually find those shards. So they all point here. I'm just going to try and follow some of these. That goes here. I guess these are just showing that they're all connected. Unless I have to activate these in some way. They don't seem to branch off apart from these pillars. Tell you what, let's go back to that obelisk. Or, no, let's go back to that circle of stones I found. And see if maybe my lantern will uncover any secrets. Just based on those lights along the ground, I'm thinking that the lantern is going to be a key to discovering many of the secrets and maybe uncovering some of the puzzles that this game is going to hold. It doesn't look like anything over here has changed with my lantern light. Just keep scanning, though. What about up here at the large tower? Okay, still locked. That's all fine and good. How about up here where the lift was? Still nothing. It almost looks like when I get close that half of that... No, it's just shadow. Never mind. I'm going to say half of that shadow or that diamond seem to be filled in. But nope, just the light playing tricks on me. I'll keep an eye out for anything that gets picked up by the lantern. And every now and then I'm going to stop and check and see if it seems to be diminishing in my inventory. I'm trying to place the the vibes, the feelings that I'm getting from this game, but really it's not like anything I played that I can recall, at least in recent memory. All right, little maybe pond here or just a big rock, big slab. I don't seem to have too many options. I'll just head up these stairs to this next rocky ledge and see there's more stairs, but... If exploration really is the name of the game, then I have to do my due diligence. Nothing standing out. I probably am just wasting a lot of time when I should be just heading right to the labyrinth, but... I feel the need to, to check everything out, to check the nukes and crannies. Although they did lay out this little path, okay. 
this another giant obelisk no just kind of a rocky outcropping with a large oh boy very open door Well, I think I'm now officially underground, and I see something. Okay, it's just water dripping. Hold F. Okay, so this is where, if I'm remembering correctly from the controls, I'm going to focus the beam. Aha. Oh, but now I'm out. So perhaps having the lantern out does not consume whatever those little crystals are, but focusing the beam does, which now means I have no lantern. That's exactly the position I'd love to be in on the ground. I am scanning every square inch of this game to try and <laughs> prevent... Uh-oh, is that, that going to be a fall or am I just going to climb down this? I'm going to climb down this. Uh, trying to prevent any needless death, but also try and see anything that stands out. Because right now, just the, the, the dull muted colors, the rock faces, everything just kind of blends in seamlessly to... I don't know, give you this feeling, not of claustrophobia, but of just... Nothingness? Okay, I am thrilled to have another camp here. Nice stream over here, so maybe some fresh water. I see some glinting over here and by the fire here. Let's definitely light this. Now, I am curious. These are now unlocked. These are now unlocked, so I am going to have to start considering my health, my hunger, and my my warmth. So I can assign these to one and two. Those are kind of my quick options. But I feel like I should cook these foods. Oops, excuse me. I feel like I should cook these before I try and eat them. And what did I just pick up? That was an ember. An, ooh. So I do have a torch. I may want to assign that to one. The ember, I wonder if I could craft that maybe with an arrow. That actually looks a bit like an arrow head. So maybe if I found someone, I can craft more arrows. The ember maybe could make fire arrows. Do I want to try it? No, that didn't work. So I wonder can't craft that. I can't craft that. I wonder if I can mix it with anything or craft it with anything if they would no longer be grayed out. And I just ate that. And my hunger definitely went up though. Probably should have. I'm going to probably hit that a lot. I probably should have cooked it. Question is, can I? I, I really wish I knew more about that, but very similar diamond shape, even though that's a bit of a spiral, but everything has this diamond shape. Mixes in a whole lot. Okay. Nope. And once again, let's let's get up. I ate a little bit, so I'm doing all right there. I do have some water. Question is, if I drink that water, can I refill it at this stream? And I, I'm half tempted to check. Oh. I just drank. So I don't even need my bottle. The bottle is just for portable. Oh, there's a stick. Okay. Now the question is, remember I said if I found any wood, maybe I could craft it with a shard. We're going to try that right now. So if I go to craft, no. What about ember? No. Shard? No. And you can only seemingly craft with things on your menu because once I go here, oh, just kidding, I can, hmm. I'm making a lot of guesses, perhaps uneducated ones at that, but we will figure this out.
one. Okay, so everything that I've been into up till now uh, has just been getting me ready for the game. I don't know if they mean floor one, probably. That would seem, oh, that looks like a tripwire. That looks like a tripwire. Can I, can I deactivate it? I mean, you realize part of me wants to run over that to see what happens. Ugh. Because I can't, I can't dismember it, dismember it, dismantle it. All right, we're gonna sprint across. Okay, when it when it's a tripwire, it 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 actually means it's a tripwire. If you sprint, you trip. That could be good though. If I ever get chased and I'm nearby, maybe I can lead the enemy back over that and get them tripped up. That could be. Right. This looks this looks like something. Ah. Ooh, maybe I needed the ember for that. I still have it. But that's not to say that's not what I just used. Maybe it's just not a one-time use thing. Now, is there anything else I can do with that? No. Now, this is permadeath, so it's not like I'm lighting check checkpoints. Once I die, I die. That's it. Game game is over. So that could just be more of a comfort thing. You know, one of the things that they say in survival situations... Ooh, got some rope here. Is to get... Something's going on over there. Is to get fire created, not simply for warmth and for light and for cooking purposes, but because it is, it's very important for your psyche. Very important from a mental standpoint to have that fire. S hmm. It looked like there was something over here. And as it stands right now, can I still go down? String. Oh, okay. I can now add either the stick or the ember. If I add it to a stick, string on a stick theoretically could mean a fishing pole, which could mean fish, which could mean food. Ooh, I like that. And now I can also do an ember. And that makes a torch. Oh, very cool. Very cool. What if I... Oops. What if I craft that, apparently? <laughs> well, I now have another torch. All right, that's how the crafting works. The good thing is it does tell you what can and can't be used. I do like that. So it takes a little bit of the guesswork out of it. Not, not too terribly much. And I may want to use said torch here in a moment. Hopefully that'll help clear some of this fog. This stone looks a little... Oh, okay. Careful. Oh, good. He actually died, and that was... That was lantern fuel. This looks like a trap. That very, very much looks like a trap. Question is... Is it something I can avoid? Another tripwire. Oh, there's another shard. Oh. Gotta be careful here. Another shard. Oh, no, no. Ah. Well, you know, that's good to know. More turnip. That was interesting. It's like it didn't want to come out of the ground. I really want to be collecting these because I would love to... No, he's leading me into something that I'm not ready for. <laughs> I'm not falling for that just yet. I'm wondering if that's going to just collapse on me, though. Let's run around it and see if we can figure this out. Get my lantern out. Hmm. I don't want to really focus the beam... It's just a, a rock with sticks pointing out, but they look sharpened, don't they? Hmm, I'm unsure. I'm unsure. I'm already at zero. So I don't know if lighting it used one. I don't like the sound of that. Ooh. That looked new. I don't know if I got it, though. That sound... It's a spud, so that there's a potato. 
Oh, hunger is getting a little bit bad. I think I'll eat another turnip, which is not great. Can't do much. Oh, wait a minute. And what does this make? What do I need? I feel like I need something. Oh, no, it worked. It's a spike. I can't assign it, though, so it's not something I use. So this is another crafting material. I wonder what a spike would go with. Possibly a stick? Maybe that would become a spear? Spitballing here. Oh. Use that shield. Oh, my lantern's already out. Lantern does not last a while, it seems. Tab. Okay, I haven't actually used tab before. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. So very, very minimalist map, maybe? Okay, let's light this brazier. And I'm thinking all these particles, yep, are just going to be items. And we got an enemy over here, I thought, no. Watch the tripwire. Ooh, that looks new. Was that a durian? Oh, no, it's not a food item. It is blood moss. Okay. Which I can combine with spike. To make... Those look like caltrops. It doesn't want to... Doesn't want to do it, though. Hmm. It's all right. We'll 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 figure it out. Maybe we need something else. I do like the idea of the stick. Maybe if I found a string that looks like a path downwards. No, thank you. Not just yet. I don't want to go... Ooh, another shard. I don't want to go and find that boss or that skull, which typically does indicate a boss. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It just got very dark. Let's light this place up. Ah, so I can just, even though it doesn't prompt me, I can stop in any water and drink. Excellent. What's further down here? Another entrance or exit, I guess, in this case. So before we go down, let's, let's head over some more. Ooh. I'm still alive. I don't know if that's really much of an accomplishment or if it's really just speaking to my ooh, enemy over there, my lack of daringness. That looks like something maybe I could shine my lantern on. Oh. That went that went well. That actually went really well. No damage. Several of these shard items. Ooh, that was actually a cool little maneuver. So that is a dash and attack. Gets, gets that nice poke. Lots. Ooh, there are a lot of enemies. Back up. Thought you were dead. I am now rolling in the lantern fuel. Something over there. Another creature here. Oh, something happened. Did I take damage there? Nope, but I am starting to run low on food. What do we have here? Nope. Mm -mm. Can't say that I like that. I can't say that I like that one bit. Are you even going to tell me what I just picked up? Oh, it's a floor key. Okay. I got a floor key. And then there's this. What is up here? Another potato, which is gonna be important. I do need to eat. Ah. And there was the floor key. I 
guess I'm done with floor one. I don't, I don't know that if I that I was ready to be done with floor one. Game is trying to tell me that my hunger's creeping up. Okay, 25. I was concerned about getting one, and they just gave me a whole bunch. There's another ember. I need to learn how to cook, though. I think in survival games, cooked food is almost always more, more nourishing. Oh, wait a second. So for 25 of these fragments, I can do something. And it just maybe increase the level of my fire? I don't know why. I don't know what good that did. Ah, now I can add stuff. So do I need to increase the flames in order to cook? That is quite possible. Let's do some meat with this filet and how about a spud and a turnip. But I can't craft. Why? Why not? Okay. Let's do a spud, a spud, and a spud. How about a turnip, a turnip, and a turnip? And that made broth. That, that made broth. Right? Does this broth do me a lot of good? Not bad. Not bad. And now I have an empty bottle, which means I'll be able to use that to fill with water. Got it. Okay. I can get on board with that. I'm okay with this. There's another blood moss. So I need to collect a lot of those lantern shards if I want to keep topped off on my health. Oh, floor two. Floor two came... Very quickly, as did, as did death. Interesting. And that's it. That truly is it. I mean, this game is permadeath. They are not messing around. That floor spike just, just killed me. Well, I am definitely keen to give it another try. Do I actually look a little different as well? I, I may. I may. Let's see. Is there anything that I can collect again? Or not, because it is randomly generated. And even the music's a little different. Well, there's a shard. And I guess I have to climb again. Well, tell you what. Unless I find anything interesting, why don't I get back into the labyrinth and I'll meet you there and we'll continue on for a little while longer and see if I can make it a little bit further without stepping onto a very obvious floor spike. Here's my concern. I'm, I'm back in the labyrinth. I don't seem to have a lantern. The pedestal outside that held it previously did not. The pedestal was still there, the rock formation around it was still there, but but the lantern was not. So here I am descending, quite possibly, without a light source. Not, not too terribly keen on that. And I don't know if there's another way of finding one further down. I also wonder, can I climb this ledge right here? No. Hmm. This could get interesting very quickly. Well, back at our very first camp here. Definitely no shards of which to speak. I can drink, though. I have no food. I have found one shard. I am very light. Is this also cut because of... Oh. Wait a second. It's permadeath, but am I not playing the same character again? Am I playing a successor? Almost like Rogue Legacy, where, where your ancestors have come before you. 
And do I have to make it back to where I died previously to find all the things that I dropped? That could be. That could be the case. We'll, we'll see. All right. What's down here? We got a spud. Good. I will need some sustenance. And tripwire. Very nicely done. Blood moss. Okay, a brazier I can light. I'm wondering if maybe that is what I need the embers for. Are those braziers? What do we have here? Another spud. Another potato. And moving on to the next room. Ah, yes, down here, where the clear path is. Another one of those very interesting formations, and got them nice and quick like. I do. Oh, careful. Block. I do want to try and maybe focus my lantern on this, considering I have some charges. So why don't we try that? Except, once again, I don't have a lantern. I don't have a lantern of which to speak. So that's really out of the question. I don't know if this game is meant to be one without a lantern, though. And I can I can light this. Didn't think I could at first. You know, I have a bow. Ooh, I don't like that they're running away from me. Get ah oh, no, I wanted to pick that up. So that's where I came from. Maybe I should attempt to use my bow. And maybe shoot this structure over here. See if I can do anything with that. I'm afraid it's just going to topple on me, but how do I even use my bow? Equ oh, that's unequipped. So that's equipped. Do I just fire it with three? No, that's to switch. R, was that to switch bow? Yes. Okay, let's try. Oh, I can even aim, which, you know, makes sense. Um, do I want to waste an arrow? Yes, the answer is very clearly yes. Well, silly thought, but it was a thought nonetheless. Not that I know what else I should be doing right now without a lantern. I feel very, very at, ill at ease. I, I don't feel like I should be here. And good, got some string. Going to be very important for cool. Careful, careful, careful. Collect all the shards we can for in the event that I get a lantern. Oh, now last time I avoided this little cave. I'm thinking this time maybe I have to pop my head in. I mean, what's what's the worst that can happen? It's it's only permadeath. And I definitely should have come in on my last character because that looks like a treasure chest. And we have mushrooms of some sort. And a torch. Oh, torches, plural. Several torches, yes, okay. So those caves could be a source of treasure. I, probably not always. In fact, almost certainly not always. Nice tripwire. Excellent. You got me again, game. I did want to see what it said there. Just a red mushroom. Okay, health is doing okay. Or hunger, rather. Only one shard. I got several shards on my last character. But remember, he stepped on a floor spike and met a very untimely... I hate those tripwires. Very met a very untimely demise very quickly. There's another shard. 
Oh, there's... Interesting. That's already descended. So it does seem like your first character's progression or your character progression does make it through. So maybe you just pick up... Imp you maybe pick up important items? Oh, you can actually knock items around. From your... Oh, heavens. Time to dash. There we go. Good. Nice collection going. Nice collection going. Well, I guess we're going to head down to the next level. And see if hopefully there's a, a Lancer waiting. Oh, actually. Item over here. And it's a shard. Which is good because I can use a shard to make... Things. Like a spike. Ah, that was definitely lit. By my former character. And I don't have to do it again. Well, we can definitely cook. And I can't even upgrade it again. Good to know. Good to know. Let's do some water. Let's do a red mushroom. And some of that. And I just made a red elixir. Has a symbol of a sword on it. So I'm guessing that increases my attack power. Red mushroom. That has to be the key ingredient. Red mushroom for some sort of attack power boost. More blood moss. And I believe in the next room is where I should find my lantern. I don't see it right away, but I do hear something maybe hammering a rock. What? What is that? That's a new enemy type. I could bring out my bow. I could bring out my bow. Maybe I should bring out my bow. Oh, not a lot of damage. Okay, so still drops the lantern fill-ups. I just have to hit it more than once. There's a floor spike right there. I can, oh, so, th oh, wait a second, this is where I died. This is where I died. That's actually my corpse. Right? Problem is, I don't have, look, there's actually a skull on it. Problem is, I still don't have my lantern. There's my lantern, lost and found. Okay, I didn't know that about this game. So yes, it's permadeath, but when you die, when you die, you can actually go and actually you need to recover your other corpse, which means the further you get, the more difficult it is to retrieve it. Hmm. All right, an interesting take. There's an enemy over there. But there's also a brazier. Let's see what happens when I light this. See if it scares them off. Ooh. He did just break my guard there a little bit, and I took some serious damage. It looks like it's going down. I don't know if that's because I'm bleeding, or if I have a chance to recover that health somehow. Not thrilled to be at half health. I can actually go right away into another room, but let's explore one. Oh, smaller enemies here. The ones that I'm used to. Tripwire. Oh, 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 there's a new tripwire, though. I don't like the look of that. I don't like the look of that one. There's a trip, but then there's something underneath. I'm thinking it's best to avoid that. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, spike traps. Let's let them maybe run through it. They don't care. Ugh, I'm getting hungry. And I don't have much food because I wasted some to make this red elixir. Eating does restore some health, though. Not a lot, but some. Can I activate that trap without being killed by it? I doesn't appear to be. Ugh, I just don't know. Okay, I tried it. 
I, I was daring enough to walk across what looked to be a different kind of tripwire, but so far, that doesn't seem to be the case. Another spike, careful. Although this one looks activated already. Nothing in it to loot. I am gonna light my lantern here, I think. I do have lots of the shards. Shield up. Uh, I saw the door there. But I'm kind of curious what's up this little path. Ooh, floor key. Got a spud. We do have a floor key here. And that's why we came. All right, floor key number two. And every time it zooms out like that, I feel like it's spawning something that wants me dead. And it very well could be. Certainly could be. Watch those spikes. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know how to describe this game, and I don't know how to describe even how I'm feeling about it, which I think is a good thing. I'm not I'm not over the moon. I, I'm not just having a grand old time. I've been playing Ashen a lot, and every time I pick that game up, I just feel I feel very at ease, which is odd considering the type of game it is. This game <laughs> definitely would not say I'm at ease. I'm not stressed, and I'm and I'm intrigued, which I think is a good a good thing to be when playing a game. Oh, careful. Oh, I'm in trouble. Time to back. Ooh. That's that's good to know. I can actually activate those spike traps by hitting with my sword. I think I need to eat just to get my health up a tiny bit. That looks suspicious. That wall looks suspicious. Should I charge my my lantern on it? Focus it? Well, I did. I regret nothing, but I also learned nothing other than that did squat. Oh, good. More food. More food. I would like to find another camp, though. Well, we push on. We have the key. We just need to find the exit to this level. And I wonder, I imagine that there's some sort of wind condition in this game. You can actually beat it. All right, more of the big guys. I am half tempted to use my bow, but I'm very limited on arrows. Ooh, stairs that go up. Stairs that go up. Ooh, careful. If I can get only one of these, tell you what, why don't I, why don't I get my bow out? At least get one attention, kind of draw him in. There we are. Oh, did he drop an arrow? He did, but it didn't really highlight all that clearly, so. Oh, 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 lots. And back up, back up. There we are. Good. Good, good, good. Lots of shards. Not too bad. Still more the little ones. Oh, hey, back up. I think there's one more. No? Look like there's one more. I got a stick. I should probably see if I can craft anything additional. And if I find another entrance way down here, I think I'm gonna actually go take the stairs up. No, it looks like that. That's where I need to go. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Hmm. Right, well, I see some light coming through. Maybe I have a camp. Oh. I'm actually outside. I'm actually outside. On a beach, nonetheless. Oh, shipwreck out there. Something for me to collect. Oh, I see a stick. We have a blood moss. Can I make it out to that ship? 
Oh my goodness, I can actually swim. I'm always amazed that I can swim in a game. It doesn't seem like I should be able to, typically. Oh, I don't like this, though. Lots of shipwrecks, indicating that I am far from the first and far from the last. Many people have crashed upon the shores here, although I didn't actually crash. I beach, which means I, I feel like I have a purpose. There's a reason that I'm here. I'm not here by accident. And what do we have here? This is some filet. Good. Satisfy the hunger there. Oh, we got a treasure and a camp. Excellent. What do we have in the treasure chest? A bandage. And I'm full. Well, I'll tell you what I could do. Tell you what I could do, I bet. No, because this is a different different menu. This is my tool menu. What can I craft? Aha! They are caltrops. I actually said that those look like caltrops, and sure enough, they are. And when I'm in the menu, those are locked. That's good. Doesn't waste that. Well, what else can we make? Caltrops are really going to be good. If you don't know what caltrop is, it's basically just a, a very sharp, angular piece of metal that you drop, and it is supposed to impede someone coming at you by, by injuring their feet. An old, I, I want to say ninja weapon, but don't quote me on that. Unless it's right, then feel free to quote me. What else can I make? We have a shard. Nothing. Okay, get rid of that. What about a string, a stick, and an ember? I know that that's a torch. That's just a use, so that's kind of the final product. What about blood moss? Nothing. Stick is just another torch. Okay, well, that was enough for me to pick up the bandages, at least. And something new. Bandages and a bundle. Can't do anything with. That's just to use, which let's see how much that heals for. Correction. That doesn't heal anything. So earlier when I got hit and half of my or a portion of my health was red and slowly decreasing, that was a bleed effect. Bandage must stop that. Ooh. Friendly? Friendly? Can I... Ooh. Can I drop food for you? Can I... Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I will drop this. I will drop that for you. Would you like a filet? Fox. What, what can I do with you? I, I fully believe I can do something and I don't want to... I really don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt the fox. There's a grave site over here. Let's drink a bit. And let's see what's up here. Some arrows. Several. But I can't collect them. So eight apparently is the max for arrows. Really wish I could do something else. Maybe I should just make another torch. So I have eight torches. That's kind of a lot. But now I can get more arrows at the very least couple of gravestones well let's light this fire and let's let's upgrade it so I could do some cooking looks like there's a well up there that's gonna be my lift for my next progression and there may be some more beach to explore wait a sec what is this I don't we have to find out the only way to find out in this game is to to do you have to learn by doing you have to take these risks that you have no idea what the consequences would be. And it might be bad, but you learn in the process. So let's let's see what this does. Well, I'm back in the cave, it seems. And this is now unlit, unless it's... That was just a random teleportation. I also can't even upgrade this. But why? But why? Well, that's a mystery. This whole game's a mystery. Everything about this game is, is mysterious. And I'm very intrigued. And I think this is where I'm actually going to leave all of you. This is just a glimpse at this game below where... There's no hint. There's no guide. There's nothing out there 
in the game at least to tell you what to do, where to go, what to be afraid of, what to be looking for. And I'm liking it. There's a very real sense of loneliness, but also of independence. You're reliant on yourself, on your wits, on your cunning, your creativity, your observation. And I like it. I like it. So this has been Below. It is a procedurally generated game with permadeath, with crafting, with survival aspects, with combat, and it is something that many of you, I think, would truly enjoy. I've had a good time with this first hour that I put into it. I hope you did as well. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Is this something that you would like to see me continue, maybe do a few more episodes, see how far I can get, or are you happy with this being just a one-off so I can show you this brand new game? It is available now on both PC through the Steam Store and on the Xbox One. Currently, those are the only two platforms it is available on. I will try and put links down in the description below. I say try simply because I tend to forget to do those things, and then you all call me out on it. But I've had a good time. I think I'm going to keep playing regardless, so let me know if you want to see more. But this has been Below. Thank you all so much for watching. And my camp just fell apart. <sighs> but I will see you next time. Poor camp.